Yes, Microsoft has updated Windows 11 CPU requirements yet again, but this time it's a good news. So if you haven't watched my previous video, actually you don't have to. So basically this is a update video of my previous video. So what happened was previously when Microsoft updated CPU requirements for the Windows 11 version 24H2, they didn't include it Intel's 8th, 9th, and 10th gen CPUs but now they have updated this so you can see here so they updated this on February 27 so almost like week ago now at that time when they didn't included these models the CPU models 8th 9th and 10th gen uh, Intel CPUs many people were including me assuming that these CPUs are no longer officially supported at that time this article about supported Intel processors for Windows 11 24H2 was only meant for OEMs. So what Microsoft is trying to do is that telling OEMs to make newer devices with newer uh, Intel CPUs basically starting from 11th gen and above. Okay, so that that was the whole story. But still, as a Windows user or consumer, whatever you want to say, this thing clearly says that Windows 11 version 24H2 supported Intel processors. So this is meant for everyone. So as a Windows consumer, we just assumed that, yeah, these uh, CPUs are out of support for Windows 11, maybe not the current version, but for the future versions of Windows 11, these models might not receive future updates. That's what I'm trying to say here. So now they have clarified it that, yeah, I mean, these models are still uh, in the supported list so all that so you got the idea so this is made for users consumers okay this clearly says here okay this version of windows 11 supported uh, cpus so right now if i search my cpu model here so you can see it's now listed it's ninth gen uh, Intel i7 CPU that I have, uh, specifically this one, the 9700K, okay? So this is the model that I have previously. It wasn't in the list, so I was a little worried because, again, <laughs> okay, um, maybe I'm just repeating myself. This article clearly says here that Windows 11 version 24H2 supported Intel processors. All the models that are included here are officially supported and if they are not here, they are not supported. And this goes for all the previous Windows versions too, including Windows uh, 10. So if I'm running this version of Windows 11, I can check my CPU here if this is listed or not. I guess they updated this post because many people were actually confused why Intel's 8th, 9th and 10th gen CPUs aren't in the list. And they were including me, assuming that maybe Microsoft is dropping the support for these models just like they did with the older Intel uh, CPUs uh, like 7th gen and below when they released the Windows 11. You know, Windows 11's uh, system requirements, they're crazy. So because of that, we assumed that, yeah, will not be officially supported by Windows. But we don't have to worry about it for now because now they are actually listed in the officially supported list. Uh, it's a good news for me because uh, I don't see myself upgrading my CPU anytime soon. And yeah, that's it with this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.